Hey there, and welcome to section two, importing and basic file adjustments. Now in this section, we're gonna take care of bringing all of our images into Lightroom and then doing some adjustments to make them look as best as they possibly can for the next step. So first thing I'd like to do, you can see this is already, um, these are images that I've got from previous photo shoots and we're not gonna be using this catalog because I wanna keep things really simple. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to file and we're gonna go down to new catalog. Okay, now I'm just gonna call this retouching. You can create a new catalog, you can call it whatever you want. Basically, it's just gonna keep everything organized really, really well. So all I'm gonna have in my catalog is going to be my retouching images. All right, so here we have retouching.lrcat, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, and it's completely blank. There's nothing in here, which is great. Now, if you did this and you're like, oh my God, how do I get back to my other images? Uh, just go to file, and then go to like open recent and Lightroom catalog, which is gonna be the catalog that you're gonna want. Okay, great. So we have Lightroom. Now we need to go ahead and get our images into Lightroom. So here's what I would recommend. I would recommend having Lightroom open and then open in Finder, the ultimate guide to retouching. We're gonna click on our getting started, go to images and over to capture. And there we can see Florin retouch one through 26. So let's go ahead and drag our capture folder over to the main screen here. So capture, click and drag over, there we go. And we have our import dialog. Okay, now here you have a couple of options. This is basically where your images are coming from, which is capture, capture, makes sense. Okay, here in the middle, this displays a preview of your images, which is great. You have the option to copy these images as a DNG, to copy them regularly, to move them or to add them. Now in this case, I want them to stay where they are, so I'm gonna click on Add. Okay, now build previews, standard looks good. All right, don't import select, <laughs> suspected duplicate. That looks pretty good too. All right, let's go ahead and hit this import button and it's gonna bring all of our images into Lightroom. All right, and we'll make Lightroom a little bit bigger. There we go. So by now, your Lightroom should look a lot like my Lightroom with basically just these images in it retouching.lrcat. Okay, so in this section, again, we talked, we said we were gonna do importing our images as well as some basic adjustments that I always do to all my images when they first come into Lightroom. So we did the importing, let's go ahead and take care of the basic adjustments. All right, first thing we're going to do is click on our first image and go to develop. So click on an image and go to the develop module right there, or you can hit D for develop. Okay. Now, I wanna make sure my white balance is correct. Basically, I wanna correct anything that might've happened in my camera settings or whatever to, that weren't perfect. So, first thing we do is white balance. Down here, you'll see an eyedropper, and basically, it's just our white balance eyedropper. So, we're gonna click on our white balance selector, and you can see on your image, it says pick a target neutral. Now, this is gonna be anything that's white, gray, or black. And if you have a gray card for photography, it, I do recommend photographing with a gray card. That way you can pick the target neutral as the gray card and you're gonna make sure that your white balance is perfect for the rest of the shoot. Now, in this case, we were shooting on a white background. So I'm just gonna click on my background and we can see our white balance has been corrected. So that looks pretty good. Let's hit G for grid view and let's see if we can correct the white balance for the whole shoot. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control A. That's gonna select all my images. Now you'll notice that this image is a little bit lighter. You can see the gray around it's a little bit lighter. And the reason is this is like my master image. Okay, so now I'm gonna sync all of these other images to my master. So now that they're selected, I'm gonna go to sync settings right here on the very bottom right. Okay, we're gonna go to check none. I don't need any of this other stuff, just the white balance. Let's hit synchronize. And now it's going to make all of the images the same white balance as the first image which makes sense because we did them using the same lighting on the same day and the same camera and all the same settings for the most part. So now all of our white balance for all of our images is perfect. Isn't that nice? Wasn't that hard, right? Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, let's click on the same image. I'm gonna go to develop. And now we're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom to lens corrections. That might be closed for you, so open it up if it's closed. Lens corrections. First thing I wanna do, we're gonna click on basic and then go to enable profile corrections. There we go. And what that's gonna do is it's going to change the settings, basically changing distortion and vignetting based on the camera that you used. 
So in this case, it actually knows the lens that I use as well as the camera. The camera. It's a camera. It's a <laughs> blah 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 blah. It's a Canon 5D Mark III, and we shot with a 24 to 105. So having that set up, you can see it helps fix distortion as well as vignetting. So that's a really great thing to enable. I would always recommend having that. So those are my first two steps when I bring in images into Lightroom. First, I make sure that my white balance is correct, and then I make sure to enable those lens corrections. So again, we just fixed it here. Let's go to sync settings, and I wanna go where we see our lens corrections. There we go. Let's hit synchronize. And now the white balance and the lens corrections are done for the entire group of images. All right, and you can see we're looking a lot better. For instance, let's just go to this photo here and see that's what it looked like when we imported it and that's what it looks like now, right? Quite a bit better. This is the import and that's what it looks like now. It's a lot more true to life. All right, great. Well, that's the end of this section. We'll see you in the next section, which is exposure correction.